Okay, so we're gonna get into baseball bats and the history of baseball bats. Obviously baseball bats are a huge unique part of the entire sport of baseball and the major leagues are still using wooden baseball bats. Major League Baseball still uses Louisville Slugger baseball bats to this day. Um, it started back in 1842. J. Frederick Hillrich emigrated with his family from Germany to Baltimore, Maryland. And eventually by 1856, they moved down to Louisville, Kentucky. By 1864, J.F. Hellrich was in business orders for shutters and steamboat interiors. And in 1866, John Andrew Hillerich, he was born, so the son of the original founder, born in Louisville, his nickname was Bud. So in 1875, there was a little wood workshop of 20 employees with JF being the founder of it. <clears throat> and Bud, his son, in 1880, became an apprentice in his father's shop. Bud played amateur baseball and he made his very own baseball bat and the bats for his teammates. According to legend, the first pro bat was made for Pete Browning in 1884. And Pete Browning's nickname was the Louisville Slugger. Bud invented a patented process for this baseball bat, and by 1894, Bud's business grew to the registered trademark of Louisville Slugger. In 1897, the father and son eventually became partners. And then in 1905, Honus Wagner, aka the Flying Dutchman, he played for the Pittsburgh Pirates, and he signed a contract as the first player to ever endorse a bat or any athletic product um, at that point in history. After World War II, baseball continued as a national pastime with Louisville Slugger as the dominant bat, including players like Babe Ruth, Joe DiMaggio, Ted Williams, Jackie Robinson, Roberto Clemente, Hank Aaron, George Brett, Ken Griffey Jr., and Derek Jeter. The corporate headquarters do still remain in Louisville today, featuring the Louisville Slugger Museum and Factory. It features the big bat, which is the world's largest baseball bat. It's really cool if you ever make it to Louisville, Kentucky, definitely, if not touring the factory itself, definitely take a picture in front of the biggest bat. In 1996, the original company, Hillrich and Bradsby Company, they did move headquarters, but in 2015, the Wilson Sporting Goods bought Louisville Slugger, the brand, from H&B. H&B still produces the bat itself in Louisville. Okay, so that's kind of a brief history of the Louisville Slugger baseball bat. Obviously, it's such an icon in the baseball world. Please leave a comment if you have any interesting facts about baseball bats or anything that I may not have included in this video. Thanks for watching.